Hey everyone, today we are going to see the difference between standard edition and enterprise edition of Action Server in Action Server 2013 and in Action Server 2016. So the first thing is we need to verify which edition of Action Server we have in our environment. You can use this command to verify those details. Get Action Server format table, auto size name, edition and display version. It will show you the following output. Under edition you can see the edition detail that is Action Server license details. Here in this I have enterprise edition of Action Server in my environment. Now we are going to look at the actual difference between standard edition and enterprise edition of Access Server. First we are going to look at the details about standard edition of Access Server. With Access Server having standard edition of Access Server, you can mount up to 5 mailbox databases on that Access Server. With these 5 mailbox databases, you can add the recovery mailbox database as well. If you have 6th mailbox database in your standard edition of Action Server environment, you cannot mount that 6th mailbox database. This is the limitation of standard edition of Action Server. If you try to forcefully mount that database, you will not able to mount the database. And the database will get dismounted automatically. And these things will not happen in the enterprise edition of Action Server. So the standard edition of Action Server allows up to 5 mailbox database. While the enterprise edition of Action Server allows up to 100 mailbox databases with no database size limit. And the important thing to remember with standard edition of Action Server is that standard edition of Action Server will not allow to mount database which having database size larger than 1024 GB, that is 1 TB. And if the database size exceeds more than 1 TB, then the mailbox database will get dismounted. Now with Enterprise Edition of Action Server, with this Enterprise Edition of Action Server, you can mount up to 100 mailbox databases per server without any issue. And the mailbox database size have no limit. If the mailbox database size is more than 1 TB, then also you will able to mount that database if you have this Enterprise Edition of Action Server. So basically this enterprise edition of Action Server are designed for larger organization that may require greater number of mailbox databases. Additionally with enterprise edition of Action Server you will get these following features. First one is personal archive. With personal archive you will get archive mailbox storage. The archive mailbox is extra storage space you will get apart from your primary mailbox. So that you can save or move your older email to that archive folder. You can access these archive mailbox feature by using Outlook and by using webmail as well. Next is unified messaging. This feature is utilized for voicemail messages. Skype for Business enables you to have voicemail messages stored in Action Server 2016 or in Action Server 2013. The next is DLP policy. The DLP policy or the data loss prevention policies are used to protect your sensitive information that is being shared over email. Next is in place hold. With in place hold feature you can preserve all mailbox and public folder content including deleted item and original version of modified item. You can get this result, result by running e-discovery search. And the last one is journaling. Journaling is used for legal purposes in exchange environment. It is utilized to observe targeted emails. So if you have standard edition of license for your exchange server, you can upgrade it to enterprise edition of exchange server. First you need to get the enterprise license key from Microsoft. Then you can run this following command. And after running this command you need to restart the Microsoft exchange information store service. You can upgrade your exchange license to enterprise edition from exchange admin center as well. So this is the way you can upgrade your exchange edition or license to enterprise edition. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching.